What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. Up till recently, all eyes were on the 2021 Megatons for the reprints and the set of the season, and then one huge, thick attack, you can't respond, boy, was missing from them. And now he's on a milk cart, and the community is waving it around. Where will Access Code Talker be? Will it be like BLS, and we're gonna get a ghost next, and an ultimate rare, and we won't ever be able to have access to Access Code Talker? Or will he be on the ban list? The theories are running rampant and with access code talker people are also looking at brothers of legend and gold series and i think there's one huge thing in the description people have missed and no it's not access code talker what have you quick baited us with john what is everybody missed in here i think a huge theming point of maximum gold actually in the conversation of what can be in this set but first i want to go to the predecessor maximum gold and talk about how they actually changed gold rares this is probably why we get to actually double sleeve now because they're thicker the quality control was also out of control the eu copies are different than the u.s copies it'll be interesting to see how this year goes but the singles are hanging on better than any gold series previous for actual pulls and gold series as a whole long term has always been successful no matter how the singles inside have done haunt and mine was the last to take year after year after year but long term they all seem to be winners and there's so few listings now that i do imagine these are going to go off the shelf soon but we see Emperm, which has a reprint coming uh, hopefully around the corner in the cyber strike structure deck and then you have ash blossom i hope she gets a reprint too somewhere and then so many good singles blue eyes and dark magician i remember the rush oh i'm diversifying my portfolio from magic and pokemon and this is the charizard of the community yeah uh, how's that going for you but seriously so many amazing reprints we even got spoilers that kind of leaked bits of the ban list with harpies and bar and they turned out to mostly be true but what was missing is ghost mourner and that's also not the conversation here we go even into deeper layers so let's read together shall we because reading is hard for Yu-Gi-Oh players premium gold rare cards are back which is weird because we had premium gold before yet this is maximum gold good job Konami gorgeous premium gold rares return to give many of your favorite cards a classy new look premium gold rare cards have raised golden outline border symbols and icons to accentuate the artwork and add texture to many of your favorite cards again why we get to double sleeve now not just the starlights yay new variant artwork now you might expect the conversation to be about this it actually is not 10 more cards get a complete makeover with new variant artwork in addition to premium gold rare treatment you've seen the new variant artwork of ip mascarena on the ip mascarena accessories and also the ocg and now you'll be able to see her in your extra deck and your dreams nightmare unicorn will also receive a new variant artwork giving powerful combos a new look so unicorn's the big one that tells us just like last year's gold series we're gonna get a bunch of variant artworks the ocg does not yet have so people are theorizing that yes it could be access code talker it could not be why would you lead with unicorn when you already reprinted it it seems like they wanted to push something else here right and many people are excited with mascarena causing that dividing topic of i hate gold rares i love gold rares whenever people bring up that they hate gold rares on videos including my own you get the slew of comments actually i love gold rares they're amazing they're my favorite and then if you bring up that some people like gold rares a slew of comments saying how they hate them the most dividing rarity even past platinum rare in the community is gold series which makes it very interesting that every single version of gold series goes up in price over time but this this also isn't the conversation we're finally getting to it new cards and returning favorites maximum gold was actually a full reprint set that didn't bring us new cards this time gold series returns back to being a reprint and import set which is super important for it and it goes with the theming of one of the biggest products the ocg released recently maximum gold eldorado will be home to a number of new cards in addition to its many returning favorites fans of number monsters will want to keep an eye out for the new xyz monster with a mind-bogglingly huge attack boosting effect and duelists who have been waiting to complete their premium gold rare dragon maids can do so with premium gold rare chamber dragon maid i'm sure some of you are actually looking forward to that and not a majority of you all i hope but this is what's big we actually have 
have new cards coming and what this alludes to in my opinion is the number binder that is insanely popular as well as ci number 1000 and the other cards that were exclusive to the number binder now this is more of a meme i don't think this will be cash for gold series it's nice it's not locked behind a 300 dollars msrp product for us that goes for over double on the secondary market at points and it's actually come down in price for some reason like recently it's it was only available 700 600 and now it's available at 525 550 so even on the international market it's been going down but yeah having these not locked behind that kind of product I'm a fan, and when we look at our gold Gaia the Dragon Champion versus Starlight plus one bonus pack over in the OCG that's 800 to 1200 versus our pennies on the dollar Gaia, we can definitely tell that this is not going to be too much if you are completing your number collection here. But the theming sticks because when Konami reaches for the OCG and they go for cards from a set or theme, they tend to continue that theme. And what is gold series? It's a reprint set. And what do we need reprints of? A lot of number monsters. So I just wanted to bring up some numbers that very well could be in here that definitely need a reprint, such as Heart Earth Dragon that has been $50 for no good reason other than, well, I'm a generator player and we're running around with this and the other meme decks that have been making it. It's not a bad card, but there's no shot, no way, no how that it should be worth this much. And for number collectors, it's been really really painful for people that are trying to complete their collection while shutdowns are happening and they're trying to find something fun to do. Another number card, Chronomaly Maku Mech. We just got Chronomaly updates. This only has one printing ever with two rarities in Return of the Duelist, so it would be nice to see this get reprinted. We have number 90, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord with only one printing from Relentless Revenge. That's a couple of years ago now. We also have number 97, Heroes Revenge having Dragobalon and that would be nice to see a reprint of. And I will say, XCs actually look really good in Gold Rare. I think I have the point later in this video, but... I think that gold with black looks better than a lot of ultimates do. Well, old school ultimates look way better, but the new OTS ultis, they don't look that good usually for these. And also, I think number 89, Diablosis, the mine hacker, would be excellent to see. Or wait, John, it's Battles of Legend that does the prize cards. Uh, actually, if we go back a bit, it was gold series that did this, and with another number card that I would love to see in maximum gold, Giant Hand could use a reprint at this point because it only has one printing, and while gold series tends to do the gold reprints that would be pretty cool so i could see this being in here potentially with no prize card mentioned though i think it's kind of unlikely now going into other places besides xes we had this list of things that would be nice to be reprinted last night destiny hero dasher could use an easy access one and a gold letter rare would be a unique rarity or i mean ultra rare with no foiling on it i love to make fun of the gold letter rares in that fashion and people pointed out evil hero of dusted gold 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 would be so funny and bane as well i could almost see konami doing the tie-in product thing of actually reprinting gold and not bane in this but i think there's no shot i think it's legendary duel of season three realistically but i do think the theming of gold and gold would be kind of funny downard magician would be a very welcome reprint in here it's an xyz that's not a number monster it's been golded before and we do know that konami likes to double dip gold and then sky calvary centuria for you paleo frog players and other xes that could use a reprint and who can forget Aranios? although hopefully the gx collection takes care of it at some point i don't think this would be gold series but would actually be nice to see there and of course with the theming el dorado i would expect eldritch stuff in here but i think the huge point again that we're missing overall is not the altar arts and oh is it going to be ghost mourner which was missing from last year's spoiler in the uh tens or not the tens in gold series or is it going to be plasma is it going to be this i don't think the altar arts are actually the biggest draw the actual theming being figured out here is numbers and 
I want to hate it actually if the Utopia structure deck was split up into this product. The singles from Gold series historically are pretty obtainable. So if they split it up in here, I would actually be somewhat a fan of that. And they would look decent in Gold, I think. But I don't think they would do that without having mentioned it there. But I do think they'll dip into the number binder quite a, a lot more, especially with this double number pun going on here. I, I think the number binder is a bit of the theme of this and with that being said I think they will go further there. And if you're looking for gold series, usually I do the sellouts at the beginning of the video. Code WATCHGOOD5 for 5% off and to support the channel directly. Really great prices over at Big 3 Deals while they still have them. You've seen so many pre-sales be blown out right now. And gold series actually is the next upcoming reprint set before Brothers of Legend with that whole shakeup on the, you know, products. Well, gold series is actually next month. It's around the corner and pre-orders might not last too much longer so be sure to get yours support the channel directly if you think you like the theming or wait for more information see what you want out of the set but historically sealed gold series to diamond hands hasn't been the worst either not a financial advisor channel though thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation and thank you so much for going with me through this i know it's it's a tiny bit baity but i really do think so many people miss the point that this is not only a reprint set that there actually are new cards and then the theme does seem to be number binder we'll see if that plays out or if it's only going to be the hard to get cards and they don't bring other stuff with it from the number binder at all. Thanks for watching, everybody.